Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to clean and transform messy data using Power Query in Power BI. You'll learn how to remove duplicates, handle missing data, split and merge columns, and automate data cleaning for accurate report. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced user, this Power Query tips will help you to streamline your data preparation process. So let's get it started. The first step is to import our data. Go to get data. Then from Excel workbook. Let's look for our data. Then click it, then open. Still loading. Okay, here we are. Then go to the navigator. Check your file, the sheet one, click it. The next step is to transform it. Click transform data. This one will automatically open Power Query Editor. That's why we are going to do a transformation. The first step is to remove the duplicates. Click on the grid icon, then click on remove duplicates. The next step is to format this data. Click the column, go to transform, click format, then click trim to remove the white spaces. Again, we are going to format it. Then we pick the capitalize each one. The next step is to remove errors. You see we have the US and United States. So we want to maintain United States. So go to replace values. So we're going to replace US with United States. Remember our query is case sensitive. So type United States, just the way it is. Then press okay. So we're done with this one. Let's recheck. Okay, it's okay. Let's recheck. The next step is to split and remove some columns. Let's split this. It's having the state and uh, the product. Go to delimiter. You can choose delimiter, comma. But let's go to custom, a dash. Then press OK. So we've successfully split the column. So let's let's delete this. Click it. Then go to home. Remove columns. Let's rename this. This should be our product. Okay. Let's format this. Let's let's go with the whole number. Also convert this one to whole number. Click the whole number. The next thing we're going to do is to format the, the dates. Click there, then click the dates. Now it's properly formatted. The next step is to add, add columns for revenue and for cost. So, Go to add columns, pick the revenue and unit, then go to standard, then multiply. 
This one create another column. Let's rename it. Revenue. Okay, let's move it. Let's move it here. The next thing is to insert the cost column. Click the, click the cost. And unit sold. Then go to standard. Then multiply. Let's rename this to cost. Okay, let's move it. The next column we are going to add is for the profit, which is revenue minus cost. So, we have to add column, pick revenue, pick the cost column, go to standard, then subtract. Now we have the profit column. Let's rename it profit. Let's move it. Let's move it here. The next thing is to add another column, the month name. Click that one. Go to dates, month, then go to month name. It's here. Let's move it to where the date is. The other one is check the year. Click that column for the date. Go to page. And click here. Let's move this. So the last column you're going to add is the gross profit margin, which is profit over revenue to percentage. Click profit, then revenue, then percentage of. Then let's rename this to be GP margin. So it's now it's looking okay. It's okay. The next thing is to close and load. So go to home. Then click close and apply. This one automatically loads it to power BI. Our data is still loading. Let's give it a minute. There we are. It's already there, ready for visualization. Let's check it out. They're all there. Kindly watch my next video to learn how to visualize and create dashboard on this data.